I have a friend named Mary Lou, <laughs> and I asked her, give me a title for a really exciting kind of workshop that I can give, a salon, a workshop. Uh, I'm going to be going to Rowe, uh, Massachusetts, where, my goodness, what has it been like for 34 years, and almost every year I've given these different workshops, but I want to do something really radically new. And she said to me, well, Jean, you know, I, the, I woke up this morning with this sentence, and I think it speaks to everybody. The sentence was, the morning after the dark night of the soul. I said, you've got it. You've got it. You know why? Because most of us living today live five to 10 to 100 times the amount of sheer experience of our ancestors of 100, 150 years ago. And we don't know what to do with all these experiences and compounded by challenges, as global challenges that, and, and local challenges that we've never had before. We've been unprepared for this time. So we all go through one or another kind of dark night, inevitable to the condition of being human, but we don't have a sense of what is on the other side the next morning. And what I'd like to talk to you about and work with you in very deep ways is how to get to the other side of that morning in which there is new life, where it's almost like a new world, in which you are able to deal in with really remarkable ways that are coded into our human capacities, coded in our cells, in our psyches. Ways of doing and being that may seem new to you, but then allow us to deal creatively and courageously with the great issues, death, I mean, taxes, um, loss of the loved ones, sense of futility over the world. I mean, we could go on and on and on. The, the sheer muchness that meets us today on our everyday streets of, of life to be lived in the 21st century. So I'm going to be preparing you for a lot of the new challenges. You know, they sometimes say that big time challenges are just opportunities and work clothes. So friends, we're gonna be putting on these work clothes. We're going to deal with the big, big issues, but we're gonna deal with them in such a way that they become illumined. They become not just grist for the mill, they become the energetic soil from which we grow into people who can truly not only solve their own problems, but people who can make a difference and be a beacon to others, to be a radiance to those that they meet who are in need. So please join us at the magnificent Rowe Conference Center. And it's being held in October, which is the most beautiful time there because everything is a blaze of color. The food is tremendous. The people you meet are like angels in work clothes. And above all, I think in this kind of um, remarkable bringing together of right people, right time, right space, right opportunity, we have an enormous opportunity to reinvest in ourselves the day after. Thank you.